Do I need a financial plan? Is it really necessary? And what happens if I don't have one? Hi, my name is Sid Misra, and I'm a certified financial planner who is passionate about financial education. I believe that the more you understand the financial system, the more you can use it to your advantage. Now that goes for those just starting out in their financial journeys, those who have been traveling for some time, and those who are nearing retirement. So why is a financial plan necessary and what happens if I don't have one? A financial plan is important because it helps you get clear on some very important pieces of your finances. The first one is, what is your current financial situation? What's your current financial standing? A financial plan is going to dive into that. You're going to look at the inflows, right? How much money is coming in from what sources? We're going to look at outflows, your expenditures, needs versus wants, and um, how you're spending money. You're also going to look at the assets that you own, the things that are value that you own. What are they worth? How are they invested? We'll look at the things that you owe, the debts that you have. Are those debts you know, helping you out? Are they hurting you? How much debt do you have? And what is the cost of that debt? How much is it costing you to borrow that money? Again, a financial plan, it's going to help you get clear on your current financial position. Where am I right now? Where is my family right now? Financial plans are important because they're also going to help you get clear on your goals. What do you want to accomplish? What do you want to see happen? It's your life. It's, it's your money. And you should be able to live it on your own terms. What does that look like for you? Does it look like traveling, um, being closer to family, being able to spend time with them, uh, playing golf? If you like to help people, one of those goals may be to help save for your kid's college education or family member's education. It could be to help provide for charities and things like that. Stuff that's important to you, a good financial plan is going to help you get clear on that. Unfortunately, you know, our last name is not Walton or Bezos and money is finite. And so we want to get clear on what we want to accomplish because there is an opportunity cost to all of that. And we can't do everything, unfortunately. And quick note, a good financial plan is not just about the destination. It's also going to help you enjoy the journey along the way. There's no point in just thinking about a destination and not being able to enjoy life. Life is meant to be enjoyed and, and lived. So a financial plan is going to help us understand where we currently are, where we want to go. It's also going to help us get clear on the steps needed to go from where we are to where we want to be. What is involved in getting us from point A to point B to that final destination? And the big question is, how do I deploy my resources in the best way possible to help me achieve my goals? How much do I need to earn, save, and invest? Do I have uh, any debts that I can pay down? Do I have enough of a cash cushion in case of emergencies? Am I putting the rest to work in a way that's going to help me get to my goals? When I'm putting my money to work, how is it invested? How is it being put to work? What's the location of it? Those things are important. The tax consequences of different accounts. Um, how are these things invested and what type of assets? Those are important questions that need to be answered by a financial plan, and they're going to help you get from A to B. And then, of course, you know, part of that journey is making sure that you're tax efficient. No one wants to give the government more money than they need to. So how do we get you from point A to point B, right, that starting point and the ultimate destination that you want to get to in the most tax efficient manner? We don't want to give the government more than, they, than necessary. So how are we tax efficient in our planning? One of the last things a financial plan is going to help you get clear on is how to manage risks along the way. This journey is a long one and there will be risks along the way. How do you manage them in a way that still allows you to get to your final destination? Now, we can't take all risk off the table, but what can we do to plan for it and adjust for it? One of the questions is, do I have enough life insurance? Um, is it the kind of life insurance that I actually need? What type is it? Do I have disability coverage in the event that I can't work and I no longer have inflows that are going to help fund my plan because my plan is going to require income to fund it, the fuel. How am I going to take care of that if I can't work? And one of the biggest one is healthcare costs. Long-term care eats into our ability to provide for ourselves. Healthcare costs are only going up. And so how does the plan account for that risk? There's a good percentage 
of adults that need long-term care at least one point or another in retirement, how do you account for that risk and how do you afford it when that arises? The last things that a financial plan can help you get clear on is your estate planning. How are your hard-earned assets going to be passed on to your beneficiaries, to the causes and organizations that you care about? Is it happening in a way that reflects your wishes and what you would like to see happen? Is it tax efficient? Again, can we make sure that as much of it passes on to the people that we want to or the organizations that we want to without giving the government more than necessary? A good financial plan is going to help make clear your estate planning and what you want to see happen. And it's going to put that framework in place. Now, if you don't have a financial plan, what's going to happen? One, I mean, you're not clear on your goals. What are you working towards? What are you shooting for? How do you know when you've reached there? How do you know that you're even on track? If you don't set a target, you won't know those things. And so a financial plan is going to help you get clear on that. So if you don't have a financial plan, you're also not going to know how to get from where you are to where you want to be. You need to know the steps involved, the path that it's going to take, all the questions of how you're going to invest, how much, in what accounts, how are you going to deploy your resources in the best possible way. Without a plan, you don't know that. And if you don't have a plan, you're not going to be prepared for what life throws at you. A plan is not going to be able to get rid of all risk and take care of you in every scenario, but it gives you a framework and a guide on how to handle things. Because at the end of the day, you've defined parameters, you've uh, figured out what you're trying to accomplish. And even though these risks are coming, you still have a framework, you still have an understanding of what you're trying to do. And that's a lot better than not having any plan at all. Again, a plan is not everything. It's just a guide. It needs to be constantly monitored, not constantly updated, and is something that takes a lot of work to monitor and maintain. You can choose to do that yourself. You can choose to ask a trusted professional for help. But either way, a plan is important. We just discussed why a plan is important. It helps you get clear on so many parts of your finances. Whether you do it on your own or you do it with a trusted professional, get a plan and get clear on what you're trying to accomplish and how. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you found it valuable, please hit that like button. It helps YouTube push this video to more people that may find it valuable. And please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care. I'll see you soon.